All right, so we're just finishing up the onion again with the tines here set on level two. So you're just gonna push down with your fingers as you slide back and forth and finish up the onion. When it's done, hardly anything is left, which is nice. If it does get stuck like this in the last little piece of it, always pull up, never pull down. You don't wanna risk slicing your fingers. It has a little grippy guys on the bottom to keep them from sliding around as you're using it. And again, store them in blade guard. It does come apart really easily for cleaning in these dishwasher safe. So if you're making sliced potatoes, sliced tomatoes, sliced onion, uh, sliced cucumber, this is the tool to grab. Everything will be sliced at the exact same rate, which means it'll cook at the same rate too. All right, so we're gonna scoot our onion over and we're gonna cut off the top of our bell pepper. Just cut through, but don't cut all the way through. Then rotate the pepper. The knife is doing all of the work. Put your thumb on the stem and pull around. A lot of people throw all this pepper away. That's a lot of waste. Put your scoop loop inside and we're just gonna scoop that seed right out. Flip them around. And what you can do here is just pull out all of those membranes. The scoop loop is also really great for your pumpkins during Halloween. It's also great for taking out all the seeds out of the inside of your cantaloupe or honeydew melon. And he is a great little cookie cutter to make <laughs> baby foot, okay, for a baby shower maybe, and, or a bright idea, <laughs> or a ghost at Halloween. You can have a lot of fun with the scoop loop. All right, we'll come back and I'll show you the simple slicer.